This video is brought to you by Ace of 12 Productions. Please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to enjoy the videos. Also, please try and comment and rate the videos. Thank you. Hello, this is Asib12 and I'm just going to be continuing my HTML, CSS and uh, I'm also going to be including, including sorry, JavaScript in these series of tutorials. So um, let's get started then. I'm just going to be showing you how to do some simple borders in HTML. So let's just first add the basic tags of HTML. Close the HTML document. The head tag. Then close the head tag, the body tag, then close the body tag, and inside the head, the title, which I'm going to call test page. And close, sorry, the title. Okay, so um, as I said, I'm just going to be going through borders. Now, what we first have to do when making borders is we have to div classes. So I went through a div tag before. I showed you how to use the style equals, and then style equals let's say font dash family is Arial and then you could input some text here and then just close the div tag so if we save this just as um, okay so here's our test too and if, oops, just close that down a bit okay so here's our text and it's an Arial. If we delete this from the style tags, it's it's gone back to the default, which is times. Um, by the way, when putting in stuff with um, the style tags, uh, the style attribute or the style tag, you must always close off the command with the semicolon. Even if you know you're not going to put another command in, always close off with a semicolon. Okay, so um, anyway, I showed you how to do that with the style attribute, but what I'm just going to be going through today is class. Oops. So you just type class equals, and I'm just going to call this border one. And uh, I'm not going to put keep that text there. So if you want to have some text in between this, you just have to have a spare space there. So just if we save this now there's nothing on our page at the moment but we're just going to add in the style tags at the top which is where our CSS is going to go and um, what we have to do to show that we're dealing with this class of border one which is from here down to here we have to type dot and then the class we called it so dot border one same as here it's got to be exactly identical here as here otherwise it won't work because you're telling it to look at a class that isn't there um, and then we just open the squiggly brackets like normal close the squiggly brackets we're just going to type border okay um, if we save this nothing comes round still um, so we just type border colon and then we're going to type in the, um, the width of the edge of the border um, in pixels, so I'm just going to say two pixels, and it can be dotted or solid. So you got to pick one. I'll just demonstrate solid first, and then remember, put the semicolon there. Okay, so if we save this, here we see a big line. That's because we ha we haven't actually given a height and width of the border, so. I'm just going to set that now. We go to a new line and we type in width with semicolon, not equals. I have made that mistake and wondered why isn't it working. So remember just colon here, but when you're doing it with images and stuff with the image tag, you have to use uh, equals. Uh, sorry, that's just my internet playing up. Anyway, the width is going to be, let's set it to 200 pixels, so 200 px and then semicolon. And then the height is let's think 100 so it's going to be a rectangle so if we control save okay so here we have 200 pixels of width and 100 pixels of height and that's just the border so what can we do with this border well we can add a background color so we can say background dash color is number f uh, sorry not 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 uh, this is 
hexadecimal colors, so I'm saying naught, 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 because in hexadecimal you think of it as pairs. So if you have an uneven number, you always add a zero to the end, or the start, I can't remember which. But anyway, so this will say black. What it's actually doing is these two numbers, this represents the red. Oh, actually, not exactly, but it's sort of like that. If you think of RGB colors, like red, green, and blue. So this is saying none of those. So it's going to be completely black. If we just put that semicolon, control S. Okay, so here we have our border, which is completely black. Uh, you can do like a gray. So three five three five three five. I've been using. Okay, so that's a nice gray, but the border does stay black. Um, what you can actually do, I believe, it works if you. Oops, we can actually do it directly into here. We can say style equals. Um, let's say color is white. I oh, know. Wait, of course you can just do it in a border, can't you? Uh, so if we put in here. This isn't going to be the background color. It's going to be the color of everything in it, but it's also going to change the color of the um, border, I believe. So if we just type FF, FF, FF for white, full, full, full. Yeah, okay, so our border's turned white. It looks like it's got smaller, but that's because the background's white. If I just change the background color, we can just type body. So now we're saying um, this refers to the entire body. Um, it won't affect things if you set the default um, family font family to something different. It will affect everything inside the body, but it won't affect it if you change it by adding another tag. Default, um, sorry, side tags override default. So um, just bear that in mind. Anyway, background dash color. Um, F A C C O D. I think that's one. Um, put that hash at the beginning. 